comparing I do need glasses I'm going back inside and we're gonna see how bad it really is so I have to do the whole box for a box thing for shipping this out so it's like I have to put a box inside a box which doesn't make sense by any means so we're just gonna go search for any box that fits this box so I'm archiving right now just some images taken with my Argus C3 Matchmatic I can't seem to figure out how this thing works because uh, I put the tape upside down and uh, yeah they, they make these things so complex oh this is one of my daily vlogs I'm gonna try but this thing is so complex no I'm joking obviously if I just rip it apart it'll work I just have to flip the stupid tape over and that's not quite right there we go and then you've got to play with the stupid leader then you've got like the you accidentally rip it too much I got lucky this time but sometimes you rip it too much and it doesn't want to work there we go oh yeah let's finish archiving those negs and then we can go outside oh my gosh it's 81 degrees and I'm in the garage just wait till we get outside it's a hot hot weekday or weekend talk about an uneven load like wow that's higher than the whole car I wonder what they were thinking when they were putting that on I gotta stop to think now there's a dude smoking right there and just kind of uh, enjoying the day seems to be a uh, not much going on hello yeah that dude is smoking Tell me that's not a nice view. You can go kayaking, you can do whatever you feel. All the lily pads, and there's even fish in the water just floating around. Just floating around. It's so quiet and peaceful. I'm gonna go downstairs, go see if I can get the garage cleaned out just a bit more and see if I can uh, get both of the cars in the garage so I can start tearing apart the Mazda. So I can start tearing apart the Lancer. So I've got this stuff sitting right here that I gotta move and then I've also got this stuff here that has to move as well. I'm gonna move the toolbox over there because the car's gonna be working on over on that side of the garage. Railroad tracks were just on for no reason. Man, I swear people are slower than dirt right now when it comes to returning bottles. When you're this guy, life is easy. So I gave up on trying to clean up the garage. That took a horrendous amount of time. I kid you not. So I've decided, why don't we go fishing? I mean, it's the 4th of July and it's 90 degrees and why don't I go fishing? Huh? Well, I saw this guy with some awesome scoots and he totally rocked them. I have no joke any other way of saying that, but they were great. Hopefully we catch some fish out there. We got this geese. This, this one is doing something crazy. I think they're not happy that we're on their territory. Oh, look at the babies. Look at the baby. Oh, they're walking away. Oh, jeez. Don't be scared. I'm not going to be scared. I'm like two inches. Oh, my goodness. They're so cute. They're in the middle of the walk. I know. My friend got almost into a fight with one last time we were in the park. What are you looking at? What about you? What are you looking at? Hmm? Don't tag them. You know they're going to tag you. Right dark out but all we are catching is pretty much small little bluegill small little perch and small little sunfish now my friend caught a big sunfish how unfair but that's the long story to be short now we're gonna go probably go over to a bonfire and light up some fireworks and a bunch of words that I want to say but I can't because I'm in a public venue so let's keep going with the night See? 
I told you, your girlfriend's extremely responsible, right? Why does it not work for me? Yes. Yes. Want me to try now? Yes. 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 I got it. Yes. I was literally almost there. No, I hate when that happens. I hate. Is this an incense or a sparkling? No, you have to hold it there. Yeah, kind of. You have to wait for it to actually spark. These are some big. Hey, that was kind of cool. What else am I going to use? Fuck. Care? I've been enjoying myself. It's fun. It's better than just yeah. sitting around like not enjoying myself because of COVID. <laughs> so I've got to go online for my class. And I'm kind of really debating whether I want to start tearing apart the Lancer again. I mean, it's been a couple of days now since I've driven the car. But I've been really debating about doing that. I'll probably put it in the garage and make it a multi-day project that you'll see later on. I don't know. I just don't want to do it all at once. Well, I got the car in the garage now and I'm going to start working on it. You'll see that in a later video. But we're going to start working on it and getting this front tire off and just having fun. We're going to make this fun instead of just like, Oh God, I've got to work on the car. How many times do you get to see the engine on the hood of a car off? I think we're nearing the end. We've got... If that's the seam seal, and we've got a breakthrough already from the strut tower, I think we're nearing the end. I mean, I can't fix that. Got rust. Even the motor mount clunks every single time. So it's just going to be a local car from now this point forward. I've decided I'm not going to take it on any more hard journeys or anything. It's just going to be carried, carrying dirt and all that stuff. Probably won't go over 50 or 60 miles an hour. It vibrates like there's no tomorrow at 50 miles an hour. At 215 a gallon, gas is like an intense charge right now. I mean, I am just pulling in, trying to fill up, and it is not working out at all for me. Yeah, because I don't wait in lines, I'm that guy. Okay, so I fixed one problem. One problem I'm I'm so happy of is the foot well vibration. That was the CV axle. Now we have to figure out why we get the why we get the vibration only on this side of the car, the passenger side. So that means either a strut, a bearing, or the tie rod end is wrong or bad. So at least I can determine those easily. It's only when there's weight put on that side though. My torque wrench is actually um, is not high enough, so I'm just going to go in and grab one. Easy and simple. Didn't even need to, I just took in the other one and they took that one and just gave me this one for free. No exchange, no numbers, nothing. It was straight and simple. Oh my goodness, it's been nine, it's going to be nine days of 90 plus degree weather. And that is going to be after Friday of this week. And it is, it is hot. You have no, no idea working on a car when it's hot. Yeah, people in the, the west coast or the south are going to be laughing at me, but it's hot. Second time I forgot my wallet. All right, we got it corrected now. Now we're heading up to go process a roll of film that I did a couple of days ago, as well as the scans for the up and coming developing film. every Mazda 3 I drive, it always has like a steering wheel shape. All the Gen 2s. Well, we made it over to Express Photo and it is, let's see, it is 91 degrees outside. Talk about hot. My AC is not wanting to work right now. I got my new glasses. What do you think? They're a little nerdier than before, but they got this teal accent on the inside that makes it absolutely great. And it adds a new touch to the year 2020. Holy moly. 
The car said it was 104 degrees a couple minutes ago. It's like a tractor beam of hotness out here. It is too incredibly warm for this Michigan heat wave. Seems like downtown is uh, super busy today. I've got to go donate some things over at the local um, thrift shop. They're not open, but they're taking donations. So that's one thing. But it seems like the town of Ann Arbor is popping today. I mean, we've got state theater and everything. So we're just going to go explore and go donate some things and maybe pick up a wheel bearing or something. Look way down there. We got a twinsy right there. Right there. There's a twinsy behind that Subaru. Well, I guess the donations are closed. Well, looks like I'm going to be holding off for a little while before I, uh, I take this stuff. Well, on the other hand, why don't we get that wheel bearing, get, just get that wheel bearing done. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much the best we can do right now. And well, maybe find another place that's open for donations. Who knows? Well, let's do it. So I ended up taking everything to Goodwill and everything's fine. Looks like Discount Tire is super busy right now. I mean, holy moly. Look, look, it's another Lancer. And it looks like somebody tried to rice it. Oh my God, it is. I haven't seen one of those. <laughs> so I switched back to my new glasses. They don't have the part at their store. So I'm looking for a 50061 wheel bearing by Timkin or National. And so I'm gonna just call around and see who else has it. Well, looks like the uh, the search is better said than done. So I got the, the Master Pro bearing. We're gonna take a look at it later. If you wanna see that video, it'll be up soon about how to replace the wheel bearing. It's not gonna be like the ratchety one that I did earlier where it was mm, about 10 degrees outside and I was out fixing the wheel bearing but I mean I just got home we got a master pro I some people are gonna say Timken some people are gonna say national and then some people are gonna go just by the Chinese thing so it just depends on what you're thinking well I'm gonna go inside go do homework I got my press over there and it is hot and I mean it is hot it is 91 degrees right now and that's just sitting in my garage I just found out TikTok's gonna get banned what? It's unfair. No more TikTok. Well, what am I gonna do now? Go outside? Oh wait, I've been doing that. Or work on my car? Oh wait, I've been doing... Oh well. So, this is that GSP axle from a while back. And it has been on my car for less than five, six thousand miles. And funny thing is, it says it has a limited lifetime warranty. The warranty was 30 days. Talk about some BS. Well, let's compare. These are the OE. I'll open these up later. We got one, two, three, four. We got one, two, three, four. Okay, that's no problem. Come over here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I miscounted. Ha ha. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look at the buildup on this one. Well, these are all going in the trash. Glad I got back in just in time it started to rain. I still have to go out to the barn today. Time to pull apart the car again. We gotta do the wheel bearing. Dang it. Steering knuckle is finally off and I'm going it because it's 90 degrees outside now. All right, taking the tax forms out and we are gonna go drop those off over at the post office and then we're gonna go head up and go do something on this 88 degree right now day as I am driving right now. I don't know if you can see that. It's 100, 105. They're tearing down the old grill to make way for condos. Dang it. You want unexpected. This is unexpected, this rain that just came out. Yeah. Talk about, wow. I'm videotaping, I'm videotaping off my phone right now because I left the vlogging camera at home. And they got that, uh, 
Looks like they're about to have a fun day over at Silver Lake Sand Dunes, but I'm on my way to Grand Rapids right now. And that is easier said than done. It is raining outside and it is like raining. So we'll, uh, we'll keep you, I'll keep you updated, but I, I'll show you a clip from the video, from the wheel bearing video. And it was so loud. The thunder was so loud. It scared the living daylights out of me. I mean, it scared the daylights out of me. And I jumped. It was just loud and unexpected. Yeah, I am. Yeah, I am. Look at these nice houses here. Am I? Oh, that's a nice scene. Made it to Grand Rapids. Car is awesome. There's a cool Mustang back there. I have a picture of that. And uh, yeah, I'm just enjoying the, uh, the sunlight. It just rained. So we are enjoying the rainy day.